Bojo, Jen Kolna Dishnikas. I am from Kijisithi territory, which is the Ottawa River watershed. I'm mixed ancestry Algonquin and I'm holding the shape for the eventual performance and rehearsal process for SWIM, a project that I'm making in collaboration with Wes Ryan, Yerpi Pine, and Carrie Beebe. And this is a glimpse into our rehearsal process. And as I introduce the process, I want to acknowledge uh, our collective fatigue. Uh, we, it's weird to give you a glimpse into a performance process when this has been in process and basically not happening for two years. So this will be a funny look at um, bits of online rehearsals things like prompts and then I'll uh, take you through a movement practice in case you need to shift up your connection to video and uh, digital dance spaces and uh, there are longer stories to tell about these uh, this piece and I'll be sharing some of those on Trent Radio when Kate's story interviews me as part of Shift Squared or Shift 2. Okay, miigwech everyone. The first thing I'm going to show you is my response to a collective prompt, um, which was, when I go home, it's like. And this project is in part about artists and dancers relationships to the waters of their home territories or places that held them as they grew up and also in response to the major water body here, the Odenabe in Nobujiwinang. And um, our attention to her comes out of um, previous work that I've been interested in, um, but also from the site-specific location of King George Public School where that airing will be taking place. When you're at the top of that hill, um, you're actually experiencing two faces of that water body. Um, so the canal, um, the really heavily constructed canal, and then the really heavily impeded um, Odenabe following her more natural course. Um, and looking from sort of, what would that be? Like Southeast, from the hill is the Liftlock Community Garden uh, right next to the canal, where I previously made work about the return of the salmon to Mishisagi territory, um, sort of following on um, and inspired by the poem that Leanne Simpson writes, she sang them home. Uh, so that is one of the reasons that this piece is deeply tuned to swimming and water and um, the possible futures that could be part of Odenabe's life. The water moves fast. And so you have to tread really hard. I have a dream that I slip into the water and I embrace a rock. And it's so easy floating and holding at the same time. In real life, when I try to hug a rock, it's like, <laughs> or like, uh, <laughs> awkward movements. <laughs> um, I, think <laughs> I'm learning that sometimes it's good to just let the rock hold you. In the water, it's like this. Mountains. Sky. Bottom. And then just me. I uh, filled up my water bottle at the spring that my great grandparents drank from. And at first, I wasn't sure it was safe. But then 
when I drank it, it was the most delicious thing I ever tasted. I could feel the roots. I could taste the roots <laughs> and the minerals. It tasted exactly like the land as I know it on the surface and I've been craving it ever since. Right, so I'm inviting you into a uh, warm up and movement practice for audiences. I think this will take about four minutes, and you're welcome to just do this uh, at the level of your breath uh, or to engage with the practice however best suits your body at this time. You can even sit in a bathtub and try it there if you like, um, or with your feet in a bowl of water, maybe, or like your face in a bowl of water. Okay, and so. I just invite you to connect to your breath and remember that you're a breathing embodied being and you know how to breathe and your breath carries you without you having to think about it too much probably. So let's see if we can just imagine that our breath is like a wave that moves from our lower belly up into our collarbones expanding and then from collarbones down to that little belly and just um, see if you can let your body feel the sense of expansion that comes with ins inhalation and feel the sense of release and contraction and relaxing back that comes from exhalation it's like an opening and then a softening that's not a closure, yeah? Mm -hmm. Very subtle movement that actually connects to really big dynamics. And so if you wanna start just finding some fluidity side to side in figures of eight in circular formation um, with your torso, with your hips, with your knees and ankles maybe, um, you might want this to be quick and whipping about um, and play with that energy, or you might like to just um, go slower and more deliciously. And you can do this on all fours if you like, uh, or do it standing, or again, you can do it just by moving that breath and letting it swirl around the inside of your rib cage. Okay. Um, what I want to do is just open my arms, wrists, and palms to receive the gift of this practice um, and to receive the gift of the time of being with you, sort of. <laughs> and I invite us now to, in whatever way it makes sense, to reach back. So that might be with like a curious foot reaching back. It might be with the head and neck and um, between the back, heart space reaching back. It might be with an arm, um, but definitely energetically and in your imagination, reach back. And think of the water body that you connected to when you were little and we, um, or maybe a water body that you've been connected to more recently, but a water body from your past or the past of your ancestors and just say hello across time and space to that one. And let's just, um, while we're back here, say hello to Salmon Nation who used to inhabit Mishisagi territory. And let's just invite them back with a gesture of invitation. Like, hi, hello. <laughs> we used to not be hungry ever. There were so many of you. Just a gesture of invitation. Good, good. Okay, so let's lock up our bodies. <laughs> Doesn't ever feel good. Add tension um, at many points. Uh, so you might want to tense 
every single muscle in your body. You might want to lock your joints up so that all the open movement spaces uh, that are inside of you are like squeezed and locked. So we're going to do the lock, the lift lock system right now, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Squeeze and lock. My knees are turning in. My feet are like not gripping the floor, but like trying to get away from the floor a little bit. And I'm feeling a lot of tension in my jaw. Mm, my breath feels a bit panicked actually. So while we're in this locked up space, we don't want to stay here too long. Let's just feel the sense of fluidity of Odenabe pushing at that lock. Feel her life, her long memory, her capacities and powers and the gift she has for floating things and moving things and eroding things. And let's just allow that fluidity start to open us up. So in our um, rehearsal process and uh, in this piece, we are imagining a great smashing of the locks <laughs> and the return, a triumphant and celebratory return of Odenabe to um, places she remembers differently. <laughs> uh, but right now, let's not smash apart. Let's just let um, all those beautiful, fluid, strong qualities and um, floating qualities of Odenabe come through our bodies unlocking, unlocking. So now my feet are moving on the floor. They've got more dance in them, more movement. I feel ready to travel a little bit. Um, and my hips are like excited. <laughs> yeah, there's like a sense of buoyancy coming up for me. Not sure what that is for you. Um, just uh, let's do two more things. So um, as a way of connecting to Odenabe, taking her rightful place, let's expand. Let's take up space like it's our primary directive. Um, and let's see if that can be an energetic taking up of space as well, and a really well-intentioned, um, good-natured expansion of your heart. <sighs> into the world. <laughs> I just want to like find all the crevices where I used to be. And I want to like mm, trickle in there and find that deliciousness. And as I'm doing this, what I'm imagining is that like um, all the soil and all the swamp medicine seeds are like waiting and they remember too. And so as our water seeps in, it gets nice and juicy and stayy. <laughs> as that happens, we start nourishing up those seeds. So this is the last thing. I would love to invite you to make a plant. <laughs> I'm like remembering kindergarten where they're like, start like a seed and then like get a little entrail or like a little something and then your stalk is going to grow and then the weeds are, waves are coming of wind and they're blowing your leaves. Um, but do <laughs> allow your body, however that happens, um, to bloom something. Maybe a medicine that used to be here. Um, maybe it's beautiful tamarack letting out all of its neurological cool needles. Um, tamarack only grows if it's been in the swamp or it's been underwater. Uh, so that's really special. And um, once you have your plant, I'm just gonna invite you to release the practice. And thank you for moving with me, Miigwech. And we'll see you at an eventual performance sometime. <laughs> Pas ma pire.